I'm feeling great. Uh, third one's definitely, honestly, the best right now. <laughs> yeah, was this the hottest one you think for you guys? Uh, I'm, I think Tallahassee was a little hotter. What? Heat wise, you're saying? Oh no, just like the hottest one to win for the team. Oh, hardest. Yeah, I can't, yeah, yeah. I can't. No, that accent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll say hottest. Um, Tallahassee, but hardest. Yeah. Yes, for sure. We just had a lot of uncertainty um, with probably most of the people who lined up, especially like me, Amaris, Kelsey. Um, yeah. When did you guys learn that Kelsey was running and how difficult was that for you to take emotionally and to refocus? We knew like, I mean, like last week around sometime and it was tough, but honestly, I think everyone like the coaches really like said it calmly to like we all were like we can still do it it's fine yeah. like there's nothing to be done so we just got to go out there and do it and your race today can you tell me about your strategy and also like were you aware of how close it was throughout the race? um yeah like while i was racing everyone was like you need to catch like this many people or like you're winning you gotta you gotta do it you gotta go um I mean, I started out pretty far behind, which I usually do, but this time it was more than usual. So I was just like trying to pick off as much people as I could. And um, this year I was coming in like a little less confident than the years prior, just because like I'm coming back from injury. So I, uh, I just was trying to like keep myself under control and go for it. Yeah. How did you stay? How did you not panic? Yeah. Why are you panicking when you're um, that far back? Early? This is probably one of the roughest. Honestly, I feel like. I didn't panic that much just because I can like see my teammates like I was racing with Grace and I could see like people ahead so that always calms me down like I was r running with Grace um, Hartman she's a sophomore like most of the race like we were going back and forth so I think that kept me calm. And what was your injury and when, how much time did you miss when did you get back to running? I had like a little like hip, a glute and like hamstring tendinosis for outdoor season that ended my outdoor season and like basically the whole summer was just like trying to get it strong to I started running um like at the beginning of the season so I could make sure I was like peaking at the right time and like not furthering the injury yeah so so you're back like maybe August you were training again or when um, roughly yeah like September August was like full training I mean it was just like a little I did a really gradual build so that's why I like the beginning races weren't that well, <laughs> but I trusted the process. Hennis is very like a slow builder, just so you don't get injured again. So it just took me some time. Yeah, and Caitlin sounds like she was under the weather today. She really had to fight the loss at the end of it. Yeah. Like, did you see her afterwards, or what does it mean for her, for her to be leading you guys to this title? I mean, it means a lot. Like last K, I kind of saw her um, not doing as well as she usually does, and I was like. I have to fight for her because this is going to be hard like she's fighting and I knew that she felt a little sick and I knew she wasn't feeling well so yeah when we finished she was really really excited and like you know really emotional that we won and then she was like kind of passing out because she felt sick so that's kind of inspirational like she's still really really happy even with her feeling bad. You crossed the finish line you're obviously exhausted but then at what point did you I guess realize that you guys pulled it off? Um, honestly, well, during the whole race, it was like, you have to catch five people, like, you have to catch this many people, and, like, I thought I did that, so I was like, okay, I think we won. If I, if they told me that, all I had to do was this, and I finished with Leah and Amaris, and that, that's when I had a really good idea, like, they always say, like, when you finish with your teammates, like, like, all three of us were in a good position, so I had a pretty good idea that we did well. What did Coach Hannah say, I guess, when she huddled you guys back up, you know, afterwards? Just, like, you guys got it done, I... Like, I don't know. I believed in you the whole time. Three Pete. <laughs> I don't know. Just like normal stuff. She was actually pretty emotional. She usually is not. <laughs> awesome. Congrats. Thank you. Congratulations.